Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving a review and demonstration of the Pharos Cane Light by Ambutech. So let's get into it. So for those of you who haven't heard of the Pharos Cane Light, it is essentially a flashlight that attaches to a white cane. So before I kind of go into what the flashlight is, how it works and the different parts to it, and even give a little demonstration of this light attached to a white cane in action, first I want to talk a little bit about why having a flashlight or a light attached to a white cane can be helpful. And there's two reasons I really think of. Um, there's probably more, so please feel free to add those in the comments if I miss anything. But the first one I want to talk about is if somebody is using a white cane, um, it can be helpful to have some light if they have some remaining vision. So if they want to get a little better idea of what their cane is feeling, uh, having that extra illumination, especially at nighttime, can be really helpful in maybe picturing if there's a crack or if there's something on the ground. So that can be helpful for somebody with some usable remaining vision. And then the second thing, which I think is my uh, favorite thing about adding a light to a white cane is identification at night. So if somebody's out walking, say around their neighborhood, it's dark out, having the light can help identify to other people that they're coming. Uh, that way no one's startled if maybe the cane comes and bumps them, it's nighttime, they didn't see the person using the cane walking. Having the light can be helpful as an identification purpose uh, for other people. All right, so now I'm gonna describe a little bit about the Ferros Cane Light and what it's like and how it works. So I actually have it here in my hand. Um, I'm gonna do my best to describe it. And it's about the size of, I think of, if you think of a quarter roll, it's about half the size of a quarter roll, probably about the same width. It's pretty light and it is black at the end where there's actually the part where the light shines out of. And then it's kind of a whitish color, it says Ambutech on here. And then there's a black end to it. And underneath the black end where there's a keychain ring and some links is the USB. And that's what gets plugged in to charge this light. So it's a rechargeable light. And it takes about 45 minutes to charge. And the life of the battery is about 45 minutes of constant use. So 45 minutes to charge, 45 minutes of use. And there's a little cap here that covers over the USB that's already connected to the light itself. So it's pretty convenient. You don't have to worry about other cords or anything. Uh, you can just plug that into a USB. There is a little black kind of claw connected to it. And that'll make more sense in a second. But that's what helps attach it to a cane. And then the part where the light shines out, there's like a little lens here. Uh, it twists left and right to turn it on and off. So I'm going to turn it on now, turning it to the right. The light is now on, shining it a little bit at the table. So it got some light coming out of there and then it just turns left to turn off. So that's just kind of the basics of the Pharos cane light. And now I want to show you how it attaches to a cane. So I'm going to move this Pharos box here and I have an actually, I actually have an ID cane here in front of me. But one nice thing about this is it comes with different attachments. So if you have just a regular uh, long white mobility cane. There's an attachment for that. Um, so it comes in three different sizes, these attachments here. So this one is actually designed for an ID cane. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to clip this on. It's pretty easy. So I'm clipping that little black plastic clip onto the cane and it's snapped in there. All right. So now that I have the attachment hooked onto this ID cane here, um, this is actually the, there's the cane tip here and it goes up the cane, there's one joint. So I'm about on the second part of the cane and I'm going to attach the light now. So it should be pretty easy. Just kind of clicks in once you get it. All right, so I got it clicked in here. It is now on the cane, attached. It stays on pretty good. I haven't noticed it falling off if you got it on correctly. Um, there is this keychain here, uh, kind of makes a lot of noise. Um, I wish you could take that off. I don't think you can. Um, maybe you can, at least part of it. Um, so that might be better to take that off unless you're actually using the keychain. So that's the Ferris Cane light. And when it's on, you could turn it on pretty easily. Turn it off. And then when you're done, there's this the claw part that connects that I showed you earlier that attaches to the clip. If you just squeeze it, um, 
a little bit or just kind of pull it over the edge comes right off. So it's pretty easy to remove and put, put on, back on. So this Ferris cane light is pretty good and it's only about $15. So it's a pretty reasonable price. Um, so I like that. And again, this is the Ferris cane light. Uh, you can get them at a lot of different places. Uh, Ambitech, their website's a good place to get it. You can find it on Amazon or Maxi Age or a lot of different uh, places, but this is the Ferris cane light. So now, all right, so now that we've gone through the different parts of this Ferros Cane Light and how it works and how it charges and things like that, I would like to give you a little demonstration of this in action when it's attached to a cane outside at nighttime. All right, so now I'm gonna give a quick demonstration. I'm actually outside, it's dark out now. I have the light on, it's attached to uh, this ID cane, but it also, again, works on regular long white mobility canes. Um, so it's pretty bright, it kind of looks uh, like a flashlight's on because that's essentially what it is. So if you were to be tapping with a mobility cane, I'm doing it here with my ID cane. If you're tapping left and right or doing um, other cane techniques, it does a pretty good job of staying on. Another benefit of this is if you were to try and inspect something, maybe you're looking at like this gate that I'm pointing at, uh, you can kind of point your cane in that direction. Um, and if you have some residual vision, you might be able to uh, make out something on there that you wouldn't if you didn't have a flashlight. Um, Again, it adds a little bit of weight to the cane. Um, it's not too bad, but it can make it a little more tiring if, you're, um, if you get tired uh, with the cane, especially if you're doing a lot of tapping. Uh, that extra weight can be a little um, difficult. But again, I think it works pretty well. I've recommended this to a few clients and they seem to like it. So that's, I think, good for a demonstration. Hopefully that um, kind of did a good job of showing you this Ferros Cane Light in action. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video review was helpful on the Ferros Cane Light. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll be alerted when new videos are available. And have a wonderful day.